truly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see or participate in the kingdom of God. Now, what is the bottom line here? Here it is. Religion in any form, to any degree, is completely useless in getting anybody to heaven. Did you hear it? Religion in any form, to any degree, at any level, is totally and completely useless. It is ineffective, even at its highest levels of devotion. The words of Jesus here that you must be born again are simply saying there's nothing to add because nothing you've done matters. You have to go back and start all over again. You have to slay, as it were, or have slain who you are and be replaced by a new creature. His words shatter once and for all every supposed excellence of man's religious devotion and behavior. All religious behavior, all moral behavior, all religious achievement, all ceremony, all ritual, all devotion adds up to absolute zero. All accumulated morality adds up to zero. All the merits of human goodness add up to zero. It's all zero. In fact, it's worse than zero. Paul says, I counted all these things as gain, and then I saw Christ, and I realized it was all excrement, manure. Philippians 3. So that's Jesus' view of religion. All religion is useless. Absolutely useless. You may be the Pope. And all that religion is useless. You are no better off than a pagan atheist. Counts for nothing. Counts for nothing. The Savior's way. You must be born again. Five times he says that in this text. You got to go back to the beginning. Cancel, delete all religiosity, all religious achievement, all moral achievement, all human goodness all noble behavior, it adds up to zero. Now, you're familiar with being born again, but let me tell you something about the word again. It's the Greek anothen. Anothen. It actually means from above. From above. It can be translated born again, but it, but it could also be translated born from above, and both are correct. You need to have another birth from above from above. You have to be created all over again to enter the kingdom from above, which is to say you make no contribution to it. That's why the analogy of birth is used. And again, I say what I said at the beginning, you made no contribution to your birth physically. You make no contribution to your birth spiritually. That birth is not achieved by man. So it could be translated you must be born from above. And by the way, anothen is used at the end of this chapter, near the end, in verse 31. And there it's translated from above. He who comes from above, it's the same word. In chapter 19, anothen is translated from above. So it means from above. You have to be born. And you have to be born not by something done here, but by something done above. Above. I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter whether you're a priest. It doesn't matter whether you're a religious leader. It doesn't matter whether you're an atheist who hates and rejects religion. You're all in the same boat. I know we get upset in America with the rise of atheism. You should be no more upset about the rise of atheism than you should be upset about the rise of false religion in any form. Because they're all in the same boat. 